This video is sponsored by SGP. Shop SGP for quality accessories for all your mobile devices. Visit them online at www.sgpstore.com. Hey guys, Tom with Buy Me an iPhone.com back at you today. And uh, as you can see, we've got a little bit different type of setup for you. Um, today we're going to be doing a, a little tutorial on Final Cut Pro 10. Now I've been uh, learning Final Cut Pro 10 for the last uh, four or five weeks. I've gotten a lot of tips from a lot of great people. Uh, this one I had to kind of find out on my own and uh, really had me banging my head up against the wall. So um, today we're going to show you how to take out some of the audio popping, clicking, ticking, distortion from some of the video clips that you're using in Final Cut Pro 10 that you may not have noticed uh, those audio uh, deficiencies in some of the other video editing software that you've used. Uh, primarily for me, it was iMovie. So uh, let's just get right into it, okay? As you can see, we've got a demo clip here, and this is gonna be the uh, buymeaniphone.com intro. I'm gonna play this for you, and you're gonna be able to hear some of the popping and ticking in it, and uh, we're gonna show you how to take that out. So let me show you what this sounds like. So that's pretty evident, evident that that's not what the intro is supposed to sound like. There's a lot of popping in there. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take that out and we're going to show you how to make that a lot better here in, uh, in Final Cut Pro 10. First, what I need you to do is uh, go to the Mac App Store okay, and download a free app called Smart Converter, which is right here, right next to Skype Smart Converter. It's a free app, totally free. And uh, you're going to download that. And uh, once you download it, we're going to open it up. So now that we've got a Smart Converter opened, here we have our original uh, clip, the Buy Me an iPhone dot com uh, intro it's an mp4 file now what smart converter is going to do is it is going to uh, extract the audio convert it into an mp3 for some reason uh, when you put it into Final Cut Pro as an mp3 uh, it doesn't have all that popping so first we're going to get rid of the popping and then we're going to show you how to put it all back together so what we're going to do is take our uh, buy me an iPhone dot com um, intro there and we're going to drag it right in the smart converter as you can see there's our 1080p intro mp4 it's six seconds we're going to do a conversion speed of fast and we're going to convert it to um mp3 okay so you want to convert it to mp3 audio then we're going to click convert it's going to throw it into itunes for us so convert there's our little ad it's sending it to itunes converted and sent to itunes so now we're going to open up iTunes and in our music, here we have our buy me an iPhone uh, MP3. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag that over to the desktop just for the ease of um, we're going to throw that onto the desktop for the ease of this demonstration. And now we have the intro and the audio. So open up Final Cut Pro again. Now we have our bad audio right here. Now we're going to go into File, Import, Import Files. Okay, and we are going to uh, go to our desktop and we have our good MP3 audio there. Okay, and we're going to take that right into uh, our event here in Final Cut Pro 10. So we're going to click Import. Okay, so now, as you can see, guys, we have our bad uh, clip with our bad audio, and we have our new audio, and if you listen to this, the new audio will be better. So as you can hear, all the tick clicking pops are all taken out of that. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can either drag both of these uh, clips down into the time line and layer it and take the audio out of the bad clip. Okay? Or what we can do is we can sync the clips. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad audio out of the clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the right to the inspector, click the audio tab. And down here in our channel configuration, we're going to take the audio out. So as you can tell now, we have the uh, video with no audio. 
So again, like I said, you can drag these both down into uh, the timeline now and you can layer them and line them up. Or Final Cut Pro 10 has this neat little trick here. If you uh, click Command on your keyboard and then click both clips, as you can see, both of them are now highlighted. Now, if you go up to Clip and then you choose Synchronize Clips, what it'll do is it'll synchronize both clips together and it'll put your good audio with your good video and now you've got one compound clip. You can tell that this is a synchronized clip because of this little synchronized uh, icon up here in the upper left hand corner. So now when we listen to it, All the tick uh, clicks pops are all out and then you can take this clip drag it down into your timeline and now you're good to go with your rest of your project now over here you might see oh time you've got the uh, original audio but the original audio is nothing so you really don't need to take that check mark out if you want to by all means so um, again, that is a program called Smart Converter. It's in the Mac App Store. It's a free application. Uh, and that way you can separate the two clips, uh, the audio from the video, and then put it back together again once uh, the clicking, popping, and all the distortion is out. So I hope that that was a uh, helpful tip for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like these Final Cut Pro 10 uh, tips and if you like these tip videos in general. If you do, I'll do more of them. If not, I'll do about as many as I do now, which is not many. Um, if you have any questions on this or anything else that I might be able to help you with, shoot me an email. My email address is Tom Mosha. that's T-O-M-M-O-C-C-I-A at buymeaniphone.com. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone want to follow me personally it's twitter.com slash nerf squeezer as always guys thanks for watching i appreciate your uh, your support as you can tell my iphone alarm just went off so uh, i obviously have something to do now and uh, remember guys tell the ones you love you love them today and we'll see you guys in the next video until then have a great day